Yeah, I know Avril Lavigne is playing in the background. I completely apologize. I'm sorry about that. Just wanted to give you guys a little update of what's going on with me on the other peninsula, as I like to call it. I've been in Spain for about two weeks now, I think, and I'm doing pretty good. I'm loving it, obviously. Having a great time. Um, trying to get into a routine, trying to, um, you know, get my stuff together, moving in, been doing a lot of laundry, been doing a lot of ironing, you know, normal stuff. And haven't had to go to Ikea yet, but we'll probably have to do that some day with, you know, once I'm more organized, because I'm 100% unpacked, I'm proud of that, but I'm still trying to get organized. That's not really easy to do in a, in a very small apartment where there's two people. Uh, Angel, my partner, already has uh, quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> Don't really uh, know what else to add on that front. I've been trying to keep myself busy. I landed on a Thursday and on the Friday I started a training course to be a volunteer for an NGO. The NGO is called Helsinki España and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching in Spanish institutos and colegios. I'm going to be teaching in English but I'm going to be teaching things along the lines of human rights, um, poverty analysis, whatever um, lesson plans they give me, I'm just gonna have to regurgitate and teach to the um, Spanish kids. I'm only gonna be doing um, about six courses, um, actually six lectures, I mean, so <laughs> I feel like a loser talking to the camera by myself, but I'm just gonna keep going with it. I'm also going to be doing a one week intensive uh, Spanish course at a school in Seoul which is about a 10 minute walk from where I live here in, in Chueca in the very center of town. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that starting Monday the 7th and that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get a little certificate and everything and you know hopefully that'll improve my level of Spanish. I can finally learn other than through immersion. Immersion's a great way to learn and everything, but you can only say the same phrases so many times. I want to learn how to be able to express myself a little bit more um, freely in a correct way. And I've been avoiding past tense if you, you know, if you've taken Spanish with me, Maddie, or heard me speak Spanish before, I do pretty well, but I'm not a big fan of the many different ways of doing past tense, like they have in Spanish. I'm, I, I get confused, so I need to have proper lessons, and this will be a great opportunity. I already did my placement test, and I'll be in level B1, which is nice. I'm not going to be with people straight off the boat. I was kind of worried about that, and it's a school that was recommended to me. I'm happy that I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, do a course and get something out of it and, you know, get out of the house, meet people. I have been getting out of the house, I have been meeting people, but not, uh, you know, in a, you know, of course in a, it's always productive, I guess, to get out of the house. And I've also been going to the gym a lot. I've been trying to go every other day. Um, my gym is in Cusco, which is near, uh, I don't know what it's near. Um, it's nearish, my house. I have to take the metro, but it's pretty okay. Um, it's actually near the World Tourism Organization. It's like, you know, the United Nations World Tourism Organization. So maybe people from there go to that gym as well. I don't know. I haven't seen any Anglophones there yet. I've also been going out and having menu del dia lunches with, uh, you know, my English-speaking friends here. What else? Oh yeah, on, on Friday I have a call for acting work paid and it's going to be in front of a camera. I found an ad online for people who live in Madrid to talk and speak English in front of a camera, but it's going to be um, along the lines of, you know, um, funny mistakes that people make in English, 
and what to do and what not to do, or at least that's what I've been explained. So I'll see more about that on Friday. So I'm excited about that. That'll be good. What else? Mm, not much else going on, I think. Um, I've been watching an unhealthy amount of American Dad, which is my favorite show. What's really good about television in Spain is that, I'm not sure if it's free, but you get a little box and you can change the language. It's a bit like Sky in Italy. It's a bit like Sky, but it's, uh, you know, you can, it's definitely, you don't pay for it. I think you have to pay to get the little boxy thing, but it's the terrestrial, not terrestrial, whatever it's called, the digital thing that changed in, in Spain, you know, just about the same time that it changed in Italy. I also went to the Comunidad de Madrid, which is like the Comune, and I got my uh, Spanish uh, youth card, so I'm considered a Spanish youth, I guess. You know, anybody under the age of 30 who has uh, residency here can get it. I'm still trying to work out the bank account situation, not so sure how I'm going to do that. I would love to eventually get a joint bank account with Angel one day. I'd love that, but I would like to have a bank account of my own to begin with, if that makes any sense. Oh, and another thing is that I've also tried to get a little uh, socio card, a little membership card for uh, renting video games for my Wii, and um, that has not been successful. I, they told me that I needed to have some kind of Spanish document in order to register and none of my none of the documents that I have now work for their system so yeah I'm trying to oh god that's the worst television show ever <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to listen to this this is terrible but anyways these I should really turn off the television yeah video games I've been playing the Wii a little bit and I would like to get more games and not buy them. And so I, I guess Angel is going to have to go to the store and register. So that's pretty much it. That's what's been going on with me. Yeah, so I don't know what else is going on with you guys. Let me know. Love you.